I don't have a long enough bolt to go through both of these, so I've got a cotter pin. So for now, I'm just going to use a cotter pin. And I will have to get me a longer bolt. And there it is. That's a temporary repair. <laughs> Good morning. It is 46 degrees this morning. Fur. It's sad because we are leaving the area today. So we love this area so much. And time just flies when we're here. Um, this year we stayed longer up north. And it's still not long enough. So today we start our descent south. Um, working our way to eventually City of Rocks and then to Arizona. Oh, I got a little stint in there. I have to go to Texas, so but I'll bring y'all along for that too. But anyway, it's a sad day to leave the river, to leave the fishing. <laughs> we didn't do very much fishing this time for some reason. But anyway, uh -oh. oh, and we're gonna pull off in our favorite fishing hole, the Palisades. Look at that. I know I've showed y'all this before, but this is our favorite fishing hole. <coughs> Deborah had to put something up. So. Beautiful. Look at the clouds in the mountains. Isn't that cool? Lower than the mountains. Did you just lick the air because I'm eating hamburger again? Do you think you're going to get any? Mama, can she have that much? Mama says you can have that much. That was a big bite for She says, time. I eat hamburger and turkey all the time. Right. Mama just didn't this defrost has any. So I'm trying to make it okay. from the middle. Mama didn't defrost any today for her. Oh. So she had kibble. She had kibble. Now yeah. she's getting this and it's from the middle so there's no seasoning. Do you want some more? Can you say something? She said, I'm going to bite your nose. That's what I'm saying. And, and look then, who's here. And then one little piece of cheese. Yeah, we came to visit C-Dub for the night. And I'm so glad you guys came. <laughs> it's the first time I've talked to anybody in a decade. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a one-nighter here. We're at Story Lake. Story Lake. It's pretty crowded. It's no more no Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. I love that the lake is so full. It is so full. I know. I love that. Is it bright out here this morning? Is your future bright? Yeah, that's what I thought. Can you straighten them up a little bit? Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. There. Is that better? Yeah, I need sunglasses too. <laughs> You're cute. You're as cute as can be. Good morning. Today is travel day, but we're only traveling for about an hour. So we're at our, <laughs> I guess our famous Walmart where we do a pickup. It's so easy because we are just, whoa, dude. Um, anyway, it's just so easy because the location, and so we just do the pickup and then um, get back on the road. So easy. Yes. They've got Starlink up there. Did I say that before? 
this Walmart employee is actually taking stuff out of the sacks, putting it in that person's, um, I don't know what they're called, some kind of organizer thing, and then putting the cold stuff, my radio is acting up today, putting the cold stuff in the Yeti. <laughs> it's like, well, can you come on in and put it in my refrigerator and put it up in my cabinets? <laughs> It's like, wow, that's that's a little much for a Walmart employee, don't you think? I mean, excellent customer service, but I think that's beyond pickup. <laughs> anyway, here they come. Y'all look at this coffee pot. <clears throat> $68.99. It's lined with gold, not really. So I'm stopped at a official scenic historic marker and I'm waiting for Deborah. <laughs> she missed the turn. So I'm turned and there is a historic marker right here. So let's read it. Hogbacks. I have no idea what a hogback is. Oh, it's a ridge with a sharp crest and, the, and abruptly sloping sides formed by steeply dipping rock strata. Wow, that was hard to read. <laughs> so, um, not sure which one they're talking about. That ridge? <laughs> that ridge? I don't know. You just put a historical marker out here and let people figure it out. They don't even point to it. Um, oh, it says Interstate 25 cuts through the Hodgeback Ridges between the Great Plains and the Southern Rocky Mountains. There you go. So now, we know. Oh, I was wondering where that KOA is. There's a sign right there. So, you turn down that road. I've not stayed at that KOA. But I knew there was one in the area. So... We'll just sit here and wait for a little bit.